Today I'm at the foundry because I'm making a hardtail vise. This is where we meet Efron. He's a lead foreman here at the foundry who has spent over 40 years working in this industry. My name is Efren Huerta. I've been doing this since 19 years old. I'm started in one of the foundries in El Monte, February 11, 1979. The foundry's job is to turn an imaginary design into metal, and it all starts with a pattern of the shape. This is generally made from a wooden material called redboard. This redboard vise will now be our desired shape to make the molds from. The redboard vise is then surrounded and packed in with a special type of sand. When the redboard vise is removed, there is a negative space that remains in the sand. This space ultimately gets filled up with molten metal, and when it cools, we are left with a casting. But not all castings come out perfect, so we'll end up having to machine it later to make it precise and match our design. And this is the actual redboard pattern for the vise. And as you can see, each pattern has two halves, one for the static and dynamic jaw. Now it's gonna be the first operation. Every mold begins with sand mixed with special binders. This sand is strong enough to hold molten iron. You see the color, uh, black color? It's because the binders that we added. We added two, two different types of our binders. The binders in the sand act like glue, but in order for the sand to stick together and harden, it has to be packed down tightly by hand. It's six forty sand. He make sure he hand pack and create a hard spot. If you don't hand pack, it will be like an ugly, ugly mold. The sand the founder uses to make these molds is a very fine grain, meaning that when the molten metal is poured and cooled, the casting will have a nice smooth surface. During the sand packing process, a metal rod is placed into the static jaw mold. This gives an attachment point to lift the heavy mold from. A mold is also made for a core. The purpose of a core is to create a hollow space in the dynamic jaw casting. This space gives room for the spindle and hardware that will be added to the vise later. The core needs to be strong, or molten metal will fill the cavity and ruin the casting. Yeah, make wires to make the core stronger. It's a long core. If you don't put any wire, then it can collapse. If it's not as strong, and then they collapse over there. That was the first operation. 